I just want to encourage you, first of all, to recognize that we all grieve differently. We grieve on different timelines. We grieve with different kinds of emotions and there is no right or wrong way to grieve. And And grief is unpredictable. So, you know, I myself, I have grieved different relationships differently in my lifetime. And that doesn't even necessarily mean a death. I think even when my daughter, my oldest daughter went to college, I grieved that she wasn't living in my house. I couldn't see her every day. That was a grief to me. Um, Of course, nowhere near as serious as a death, but Grief is an emotion. And I think the only way for us to go through it is to go through it, meaning God gave us tears for a reason. And and I don't know if you knew this, this is super interesting to me, but, but even when scientists will analyze our tears, there's a different chemical makeup in our tears of grief than if we were in tears of pain or tears of joy. There's a different chemical makeup and the chemicals that are released in our body when we cry are part of the way that God helps us deal with that stored emotion. And so crying is natural. Going through those stages of grief is natural. And how that happens for me is going to be different than how it happens for you. So first and foremost, let yourself off the hook. If you are still grieving three months after your miscarriage, that is between you and God and nobody else. And so if he doesn't convict you, then don't accept the conviction from anybody else um, or condemnation from anybody else. Or 